It is a very exciting day at Lalanne today because the Petherics are coming to visit. Michael, Billy and Ryan are all coming to stay this evening. They're bringing Alexander, who's going to come as a volunteer and stay at Lalanne for a while. Sadly, the others can only stay one night, but I want to have a lovely, lovely evening with them. And I thought I would cook something delicious and warming. So perhaps a tagine? because we were sent all these lovely dates and I'm going to use half of them for this year's Christmas cake. That still leaves half. First things first, I'm popping out with Philip. We are going to go and buy the meat for the tagine. I love the autumnal colors at the moment. The leaves are everywhere. It's the first Christmas decorations of the local supermarket. Very it good. is Christmas. That's a nice crash. I like this thing. Oh, I love the little sheep. Well, look, they've got sheep there. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Through the balloons. This just feels right. I'll admit I don't usually do my clothes shopping at the local supermarket and I am here to buy food, but I really like this. What do you think? I just saw it as we walked past. It seems... Uh, I think it's quite sweet. The colour's nice on you. It's very light, so it'll tuck into something easily. Nice. Yeah. They've got all the fun Christmas hampery things out. Okay, cannot stop. Must be, is that dartboard? <laughs> Could have been distracted there for a moment. Okay, no, back to the proper shopping. They have lamb, we are saved. We're going home triumphant with all the lamb needed and a top. They even have pomegranates. I know, I know, it's incredible. It's gone. It's so exotic here yeah. these days. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to an afternoon in the kitchen, actually. Good. It's been a long time. Oh, look, all of the leaves have gone, except for one, one <laughs> holding on. Before we get started in the kitchen, I want to show you what anne has been up to. Big changes over here. That is, <laughs> that is quite a transformation. We used to have a fireplace. Oh, look, it's here. Not one broken piece of marble. You are incredible. And you've taken footage of all of this, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to show good. everyone just how meticulous you are. And I noticed from the footage that you cleaned off every piece as you put it down. Yeah, you don't want to keep the mortar on there, do you, really? So it's nice just to have it all nice and clean and ready for the uh, Ready the to go into another room. Rather than having to clean it all up. Well, that's the lovely thing, because it's actually a very pretty fireplace, yeah. but it's not a very old one, and it's in the wrong style for the room. We think it's probably 20th century, actually. Yeah. Uh, but it's pretty, and it'll look beautiful in Chambre des Oiseaux, for example, which has got yeah. a completely broken one that's not as nice as this. No, it's not. 
already had to put a few bits on that. Yeah, exactly. We keep patching it, patching yeah. it, so it won't be wasted. Yeah. No, it's good. And as always, you've done an incredibly meticulous job. I've added in the steel that was in, not the original, but they obviously did some work here to put the fireplace in. Yeah. They had some steel, so I thought, well, why not? Instead of just having it sitting yeah, there, yeah. dusting. Um, no, absolutely forgot it. Dust, I thought I'd throw that in Use with it. the uh, concrete lintel. Make it as solid as possible. Make, yeah, exactly. So happy days. Happy days. Next stop, insulation. Finally, we'll get one panel up. Yeah. I exactly. can't wait. Neither can I. <laughs> See, you See you later. later. Davy is back. Yeah. <laughs> it is very, very good that you're here. And you're staying a while. Two weeks, yeah. Yes, hurrah. <laughs> I'll so, be here to work in the garden uh, when possible. Yeah, have you been out there? Have you seen what's yeah. happened so far? <laughs> okay. That's for lunchtime. Yeah, because uh, we've made a big mess yeah. and now we need you to come and fix it. Uh, okay. Excellent. We'll going Sounds to familiar. Yes. <laughs> Do you like a cup of tea? Uh, yeah, sure. You like herbal teas, don't you? Yeah, I do. Whilst Davy's having his cup of tea, I'm just going to run out and see Kirsty. And I just want you to see how far they've got. It's quite horrifying, actually. It's like the Battle of the Somme out here. It's a desolate wasteland. Hello. Hello. How is it going? <laughs> We've got all sorts of problems, haven't we? Namely, <sighs> granite. Granite <Yeah>. everywhere. <laughs> we have quite a bit of... Uh granite yes yeah right in the middle of where we want our hedges or fountains to go yeah so because of the style of the garden it's quite fluid and contained. yes luckily we can we can move the hedges yeah. so what i'm trying to do is find the the nicest possible curve negotiating around the boulders yes but the good news is um i think dan's going to come and move well, we dig these. He's going to dig. He's going to yeah. dig. Fantastic. So, yeah, so don't... We, we have a digger. Let's we use it. Well, I'm wearing out the shovel. Look. <gasps> oh, no! the shovel. So, yeah. Okay, pause. You can't do it all in one go. It's not possible. No, it's, it's not. Um, basically, what, what I'm doing here is it's not digging the trench for the hedge plants themselves. I'm just making sure that the line is very, very obvious and yes. easy to spot. Yes. Right, well, I will leave you and I'm going to go in and start cooking. Oh, there will be no food for anyone tonight. <laughs> no problem. See you later. See you soon. I finally made it to the kitchen and I'm starting by just taking the pits out of all of the dates. Well, half of the dates. The other half I'm going to keep for the Christmas cake. I've got to work quickly because every time Philip walks in, he steals another one. I need them out of sight and then they can be out of mind. That's all done. Now I need to chop up four onions, a lot of garlic and some ginger. But I have no intention of doing this by hand. I'll be using the trusty Thermomix, but I do need to peel them. I haven't even had to chop all of the onions. All I had to do was put them in very big pieces in here. And that's enough to get me crying. So I'm glad that the machine's going to do the rest. That'll do nicely. Before cooking the onions, I'm just toasting some coriander seeds and some cumin seeds that I crushed a little bit beforehand. Now I have a ton of garlic and ginger. I pretty much doubled the quantity of garlic because I like it. And I'm putting all those toasted spices back into the pan. I wish I could share the smell in the kitchen with you all. It's really exotic and warming. I love this scent. Yeah. Could you yeah? have some more, please? We've got an issue. An issue. I don't like the sound of that. I hope there's not another problem. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> you look really, really worried. Well, yeah. We knew we have a problem up here. This is why we have the acro props in place. It's already had a steel added to it, but Amory says it's worse than we feared. Yeah, it's worse than, yeah, it is definitely worse. Just because of the housing of the joints. That hold, that's holding that floor joist into the uh, window lintels. So you say it's basically not going into the wall anymore? No. Okay, I'm going to go up and have a look. Oh, it's barely touching. It's touching yeah. by one centimetre. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's supporting an entire wall that's, above. That's it, that's not the only... You see a bit of the wall. Between the bathroom of Pers and Pers itself, that's supporting the entire wall. Right. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> no one wants to hear that from a builder. <laughs> what can be done? So I was explaining to Philip that we've got two options. Uh, one of them, take the wall down. So you're, you're take, alleviating that ceiling joist from all of that weight. Or 
we can knock some holes through the wall at a low level and put needles through. So they're just H beams either side. So you knock a hole through, you put the steel through, and then either side of that, you have acros going up to support it. The wallpaper in that room is really special. It's a vintage French wallpaper. It dates from the early 20th century and it's in great condition. I, you know, I love that wallpaper. Okay, the wall cannot come down. We have to do whatever the second thing was, the holes in the base of the wall with steel going through and then propping it here. Okay. Can you it's do just, that? Yeah. I'm sure there's a YouTube video. About that. <laughs> <laughs> you know my mum and papa's entire house we yes. put on needles when we did the footings so their entire in the main barn yes was just on needles now i know if anyone can do it it's you my aunt and uncle's barn is earlier than 15th century so 1400s at the absolute latest and amory and my uncle had to support the entire frame to do the underpinning so i know you can do it yeah i um, we just didn't have to work around old wallpaper don't mess with my wallpaper. Okay. The trouble this is, is Lalang. The wallpaper is important. The trouble is though, this that section of floor has to come up because of the other floor joist on the other side actually has a crack. So if you go up, you can see the crack. That we knew about because we'd seen that when the acro prop went up, but we didn't realise how bad the other side was. No. The problem is this is always a problem with old buildings. I know you want to do one thing, you think you're nearly there and you discover another huge setback. I like it, that's why I like it. It's not the same monotony. Or oh, it's else. never boring. <laughs> <laughs> Quite often irritating, but never boring. From my point of view, it's wonderful. From your point of view, I guess it's sleepless nights and... Uh, yeah. I think if this doesn't break me, then bloody hell. Nothing will. <laughs> Nothing will. <laughs> I'm loving it, it's just, from my point of view, I feel bad that it is literally problem after problem after problem. Yeah, but it always is in old buildings. And you're working in the oldest part of the chateau yeah. now. We're really in the original yeah. part of the chateau. The minute we're over in the 19th century part, it's going to be a lot easier. It's going to feel is like it? a new build. Is it? Yes, Philip. Yes, it is. Yeah, a few things up in the 19th century. <laughs> <laughs> we're going upstairs to see what damage is going to be caused in Paris. Why can it never be simple? Really, why can't it just be simple? Now, I love this room. There is no way that I want to lose that wall and all of that wallpaper. <laughs> I know you think I'm crazy, but no. No, it's part of the chateau. But it does mean, because the wallpaper is not at the base of the wall, it means that you can make holes in the base of it. So you like have a hole punched through here, hole punched through there, like like I said, four or five mm. holes punched through. Can we stop saying the word punched? It's making me unsettled. <laughs> <laughs> making me um, gently, thin. gently Caressed. threading. Yeah, gently threading <laughs> a steel through the wall at this point is what I would like to hear. Floor up, <laughs> parquet up, because Yay. I have to make a hole straight through so the acro comes straight through because I'm not going to use the... Um, the floor as its support. So if you imagine the parquet is going to be coming up wherever there's a threaded hole <laughs> to, to, take the, uh, to take the steel. Okay. You know, it's really hard taking this kind of serious advice from a man with your beard. I love it. <laughs> I can only see Don't. this side, so I'm fine. <laughs> Don't tell Natty. But on the big shave, I'm thinking I might take that out and have I, so, I like it actually, I think that bit's quite I fun. I, might, I think I might do it with a big shave and just have a proper... Because it's starting to curl a bit. I'm looking myself in the mirror for some vein. <laughs> I just need to get some beard cream just for it to stay firm and Brilliant. upright. Well, okay, I understand what's happening here now. You can go ahead and save the chateau from falling down. I think that is fairly much a priority. And now I'm going to go back to the kitchen because it is a calm environment where I can control everything and it's mm. peaceful. All right. Oh, Natty, a cup of tea. This is a sight I love. I and just finished my routine. So I just need something to warm up. What's your routine? I just started to run again, so. 
Oh no, I'm feeling a little bit guilty now. All I'm doing is cooking and eating and not running. Yeah, with your cooking. <laughs> for me to start running very quick, quick, quick. Yes. <laughs> it's good to have you back in the house. Thank you. How was your Thank holiday? You. Everybody was amazing. We went to Spain with my grandma and my aunt, where my great grandfathers were from. So you were tracing back the family history? Yes. It was the first time for my grandma to see where her parents were grew up. So is it your great grandparents who moved to Argentina? Yes. That's incredible. From Spain and from Italy and from France. Yeah. And very, <laughs> very European. I just got the results of the DNA test yeah. that I did and it turns out that I am way more European than I thought. It's completely mind blowing. I want it. I want to do it as well. You need to give me the link for the... <laughs> <laughs> I will. About a month or so ago, I took a DNA test to find out more about my genetic heritage because with my mother being from France, my father being Irish and English, I wanted to know more about the whole mixture. And luckily, my heritage offered to sponsor this video with an ad. It was incredibly easy to do. A really neat little box arrives with everything you need inside it. And it takes only two minutes max to do the whole thing. There's a little cotton swab and you just need to swab the inside of your cheek. You put it into this tiny little test tube, send it off to them. And then as soon as your results are ready, they email you to let you know. I absolutely could not believe my results. I'm going to show you, it was really mind blowing. I am more than anything else, 66%. Iberian. For those of you who don't know what the Iberian Peninsula is, it's Spain and Portugal. But I didn't realize genetically it also includes the south of France. And that makes complete sense because my mother was born in the Pyrenees, as was my grandmother and the people before them. So we knew that we were from the south of France, very close to the Spanish border. But I wasn't expecting it to be over 50% of my genetic makeup. And the second after that isn't even England or Ireland, it's Scandinavia. And the rest is split equally 10% English, 10% Irish, which I was expecting. For someone like me who is fascinated by history, it's just been amazing, especially as at Oxford I specialised in the effects of the Viking raids on the English language and literature at the time. But it turns out that probably in those boats were my ancestors, so perhaps that's why I was so fascinated. Now that I know a little bit more about my genetic makeup, I think I've caught the bug and I want to discover more. And my heritage also is a platform for family history research. I'm definitely going to try and do it. And whenever you order a DNA test kit from my heritage, it comes with a 30 day free trial of the family history research platform and if you then sign up it gives you 50% off the full subscription. If you'd like to try it for yourself which I absolutely recommend I have loved it you can buy a DNA kit at the link below I'll put it on the screen and in the description box it is bit.ly forward slash the chateau diaries and if you use the code diaries you will get free shipping on your order as an added bonus you'll get a 30-day free trial of my heritage's family history research service and 50% off the full subscription if you sign up. Now I definitely have to get back to cooking because if I do not add the meat to that tagine, it will not be tender tonight. I browned the meat a little and I've added the dates. So now I'm going to add a lot of stock and two tins of chopped tomatoes. Michael texted they're all going to be here in half an hour and I'm hoping I've got just enough time to make dessert. I want to stick with the whole Moroccan theme so I thought I might make a lemon and cardamom cake. I'm going to add lemon zest and juice to a rather repulsive looking mixture of oil and Greek yogurt but I'm just following the recipe and I will link to the recipes that I've used tonight in the description box below if you want to try them for yourselves. I've also added lemon juice and eggs. I'm going to combine all of the wet ingredients. Someone want champagne? <laughs> oh my God. Hello, darling. How are you? I missed you Give me a so kiss much. quickly. <laughs> oh, dear. I might have to smash something. What have you brought? I don't know. A lot. Hi, so good to see I've you. Alcohol. <laughs> You're allowed in. Come in. <laughs> Hi Stephanie! How's it going? So good to see yeah, you. It's been a while. I like the bling. Oh, thank Ryan. you very much. You're not looking too bad yourself. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Come in. Finally. <laughs> it's a very different style between you and Ryan, yeah. isn't it? You've yeah, got this sort of tweed, tweed going on here and the chain going on. A bit of a contrast. <laughs> a gentleman very gangster, great. isn't it? <laughs> nice right. to be back. You need to stay. Well, I have lots of orders to go out um, now, basically. I've got uh, prints arriving today, cards arriving today and tomorrow. So I need to go back, put them all packed up, send them And out. then come and back. Then come back. <laughs> oh, oh, my 
Look, it's all happening today. You on YouTube. Oh, oh excellent man. jumper. Thank you. Very Christmassy. Yeah, it's oh, very good. Yeah. 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 So yeah. hang on. Yeah. Billy and Dan, you've been chatting for ages, we haven't have, you? Yeah. This is the first time you've actually met. Yeah. This is yeah. such a beautiful a moment. Much, um, online based relationship. <laughs> and now this is the first date. Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right, Stephanie. Hmm. Do I stop holding the cup measurement? It's all right. Cheers. 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 Miraculously, with all this chaos going on in the kitchen, I remembered to put the cake in the oven, so we might love cake. <laughs> Amory, are you serious? Mm -hmm. the I didn't even realise the end of November is upon us yeah. until I knew it from Amory's face. How weird is that? <laughs> <laughs> that that's my calendar. So, Dan, it just really leaves the question, why do you still look like that? I'm just going to rock this look now. You love it yeah. too much. Yeah. It's something to play with. <laughs> I quickly changed for dinner and I'm going to go make the couscous and we can eat. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, so good love having you here. Love you, Stephanie. No, Cheers I love all. Stephanie more. <laughs> love you, Stephanie. How Super many fun. cocktails has he had so far? Uh, I can't lost count. <laughs> Not enough, Stephanie. <laughs> Just enough with some Dutch courage. This is fantastic. I haven't cooked in so long, I'm so happy to hear it. It's almost as good as mine. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's fantastic. Thank it's you. the best meal ever. <laughs> Daniel? To quote a famous person. <laughs> the cardamom and lemon cake is ready. And it's made with semolina, so it's got a slightly grainy texture as well. I'm going to take that out and we're serving it with smooth vanilla ice cream and pistachio ice cream. I've tasted a tiny bit and I like it. But to be fair, I think the tagine was the real triumph of the evening. The tagine I will be making time and time again. I'm really sad you're leaving tomorrow, Tana. I'm sad to be leaving, but I'm leaving Jared behind. I know, <laughs> I can't believe we've managed to persuade you to leave Jared behind. <laughs> Anytime you invite me, I'll come. It need any work done, I'll come help. It's an open invitation. We've loved it. I had a great time. I uh, mm. never done anything like this. Met a lot of great people. Uh, can't wait to come back. We've had the best night and it's been so good seeing Michael again after all this time and Billy and Ryan. And for those of you who haven't seen Billy's channel yet, it's called The Petherix and it is amazing. He's restoring an abandoned convent. It is so exciting. So I'll put a link to that here and do check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Michael and I up bright and early, you feel fantastic. <laughs> Oh, that's not even dry yet. I, just oh, got out I was top. automatically getting into the passenger seat. <laughs> We're going to go and get pastries for everybody. Oh, We've cleaned them out of the oh, shop. I plus some. Need to get lots of baguettes and definitely some eclairs. Do you think we overdid it on the pastries? We might have. It's quite uh, breakfast is long gone, by the way. <laughs> Thank you! Yeah, Philip and I went a bit crazy with the table. You've messed up my table because I realised the one thing we did not cram onto this table was champagne flutes and that we were wrong. We were so wrong. Of course it's we want champagne. Glasses, nobody will care. Oh no, look at look look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there for the bottles. We've got the pastries that we picked up together. And then there's lots of savoury goodies as well. I promise you, Alexander, it's not going to be like this every morning. Don't, don't get too excited. It's <laughs> perfect. I see that you've gone for dark glasses. Yeah. Hey, you went to bed at six o'clock in the morning yeah. last night? What's too late. You're going to be so jealous because someone sent this as a gift. No, I already know what it is. And I'm... And I'm... <laughs> Truffle Marmite. That's it, you're leaving with the Marmite. Oh. <laughs> Come back here, Michael. Right, have your Marmite. I'm sure I can chuck one down. You're going to try it. You've got to try I'll it. I'll try it, yeah. It's so nice to get a chance to use all of this. These are the salt and pepper shakers that we sent. I love those. And eggs. Half the eggs are from Thank the garden. You. The other eggs Thank are not from the garden. <laughs> we didn't have enough. The garden of other people. Yeah, other people's. <laughs> Champagne? Probably. Yes, please. Cheers. 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 This is why I don't usually do breakfast. I'm going to need to nap all afternoon. How many croissants do you have? I don't want to talk about it. How many baguettes? Did I don't you want to talk about whole it. Whole baguettes? I didn't have a whole baguette. Half? It's this. It's a little gift for you. Um, 
and well, it's not your Christmas present. Oh, but I because I recognise this. I recognise mm, your logo. Well, I haven't actually. The Christmas ones arrived today. Oh, you got I, Christmas logos. I got Christmas labels, Christmas punch stamps, what? envelopes, everything packaging. But it all arrived today, so I didn't have it before I arrived. But I would like to show you this because I thought maybe you could stick it up somewhere as a Christmas decoration. Mm -hmm. But some paintings that I did. Now these are giant versions. So this is oh this is the oh. chateau in the snow. But it, because it's been enlarged, it's not as great quality, but... That's stunning. So, and then there's the garden, I'm speechless. this cottage also. <gasps> you decorated this one. Look at the baby as well. Michael, they're so good. There's you some, are crazy talented. There's some versions in here as well, I think. I absolutely love them. Michael, you're a genius. All right, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us for another day at La Land and a huge thank you to my patrons because for those of you who haven't seen this week's patron video yet, since filming this video we have had catastrophic news about the structure of the Grand Salon. It's far worse than even Amory had feared. We went around with the architect and enormous work needs to be done and it turns out that the structure of the chapel is also worse than we believed. It's because of your support that we're able to tackle these things. I cannot thank you enough. And to those of you who aren't patrons, don't worry, I will tell you all of the news in the next Chateau Diaries, which will be on Thursday. Lots and lots of love to all of you and see you straight after this video in the very first of this year's Daily Christmas Diaries, where we will be looking at the most glorious Chateau Advent calendar that Jared has made for Lalande. And today I would also like to say a special thank you to Brandon and John Michael, Paulina Calabro, Chelsea, Matthew Chuck, Gregory Clear and Linda Sue Concepcion. Thank you so much for your continued support. I look forward to seeing you in our daily advent videos from now.